This is like speaking from the idea that um, like in epistemology where mm -hmm. you're only talking about like what you can know for sure and right. that you should um, only base your beliefs off of what can actually be proven as like true knowledge. Um, okay, the problem with that statement right there that you should only believe what can actually be proven as true knowledge, that very statement, you can only be believe what should be proven as true knowledge can't be proven as true knowledge. So the whole thing is self-defeating. Okay, so then what do this you This is called about verificationism, by the way. Um, that came up in the early 1900s, that something should only be believed if it's, actually it goes all the way back to David Hume. It's true by definition or you can prove it with one of your five senses. Well, the problem is that very principle that says you should only believe something that's true by definition or you can prove it by one of your five senses isn't true by definition, nor can you prove it by one of your five senses. So it's a self-defeating philosophy. This is why what we talked about before about turning the claim on itself is so important. Because you can get totally sucked down that philosophy and then everything fills in after that, but the whole thing is built on a false foundation. Okay, yeah, that makes sense.